All right, so we're going to do some of the uh, homework problems. Uh, we're going to do chapter 19. We're going to do a couple of oxidation reductions, and then we'll do some of our uh, electrochemical cells. All right, um, I'm going to start at 19.40, and I'm going to do part C. Part C is Al plus NO3 minus yields AlOH4 minus. and NH3, and this is basic. And basic means we're gonna balance our charge using OH minus. All right, so step one is to get all of our oxidation numbers. So we need the oxidation of Al, of N, of O, of Al, of O, of H, N, and H. So lots of oxidation numbers to get. All right, so aluminum, element in its natural state. Oxidation number is zero. Oxygen is minus two in compounds unless it's a peroxide. All right, so this is minus two, but we have three of those, so that's a total of minus six. So to get an overall of minus one, your N has to be a plus five. All right, uh, oxygen, again, is minus two, unless it is a peroxide. Hydrogen is plus one, unless it's a metal hydride. All right, and so uh, you have O that's minus two, H that's plus one, so that is minus one for each of these OHs, so that's a total of minus four with your four OH minuses. All right, and so your Al has to be plus three. Plus three minus four gives you the overall of minus one. Uh, hydrogen is always plus one unless it is a metal hydride. Nitrogen is not a metal, it is a non-metal. And so this is a plus one and your nitrogen is therefore a minus three. This is a plus three, this has to be a minus three to give an overall neutral charge. All right, so we see that our aluminum is going from zero to plus three. So that is an oxidation. In order to do that, it has to lose three electrons. So we write our half reaction. Al is going to AlOH sub four minus. That is our oxidation half reaction. All right, we see that our nitrogen is going from a plus five nitrogen on the left side over to the right side where it is a minus three. So it is reduced from a positive five down to a negative three. And so our NO3 minus is going to our NH3 and that is our reduction half reaction. And we have to gain uh, to go from a plus 5 to a negative 3, again, don't look at the 5 and 3. It's a plus 5. It is a negative 3. That difference is not 2. That difference is you would need 5 electrons to make it 0, 3 more to make it minus 3. So we need 8 electrons total, 5 to make it neutral, and 3 more to make it negative 3. All right, and so we have to gain 8 electrons, and so we are gaining eight electrons for our reduction. We are losing three electrons for our oxidation. That is balancing our oxidation numbers. All right, so we should put, we're gonna gain eight electrons for every nitrogen. There's only one nitrogen on both sides. We're gonna lose three electrons per aluminum. There's only one aluminum on both sides. All right, so once we balance our oxidation numbers with electrons, we should then balance our charge, and this is where the OH minus comes in. Your Al has a charge of zero. AlOH4 is a minus one plus the three more minuses. So we have a total of minus four on the right, no charge on the left, 
And so we need to add 4 OH minuses to give us a minus 4 on the left and a minus 4 on the right. The reduction half reaction, we have a minus 1 for the NO3 minus, and we have 8 electrons. That's minus 8 for a total of minus 9. NH3 has no charge. And so we need 9 OH minuses on the right side. Now we have minus 9 on the left and minus 9 on the right. So now we balance our hydrogens and oxygens with water. All right, so when we look at our oxidation half reaction, we got four O's and four H's on the left. We got four O's and four H's on the right. It is balanced. We look at our reduction half reaction. We've got three oxygens on the left and no hydrogens. On the right, we've got nine oxygens and we've got nine hydrogens plus three more. We have 12 hydrogens on the right. All right, so if I look at the 12 hydrogens on the right side, I know that to get 12 hydrogens, I need to have six H2Os. That's 12 hydrogens. And then that also gives me nine oxygens. So we have our six O's plus our three O's on the left. That's nine oxygens. And on the right, we have our nine OH minuses. So now our hydrogens and our oxygens are balanced. So now we have to add up our two half reactions. But before we can do that, we have to make sure that we have electrons gained equal electrons lost. Right now we have gained eight and lost three. All right, so we need the least common factor of our uh, least common multiple of our three and our eight. All right, so that is 24. So we're going to have to multiply the aluminum oxidation half reaction by 8. We're going to have to multiply our NO3 minus reduction half reaction by 3. So that's going to give us some big numbers to, to deal with here. All right, so we have 8 aluminums, and now we have 8 times 4, which is 32 OH minuses. We have 8 ALOH4 minuses, and we have 24 electrons. All right, and so now when we multiply through by 3 here, we have 18 H2Os. We have 3 NO3 minuses, we have 24 electrons, we have three NH3s, and we have 27 OH minuses. All right, and we did that so that we could subtract 24 electrons from both sides. They are gone, 24 electrons gained and lost. All right, we note that we have OH minus on both sides. In a balanced reaction, you can only have OH minus on one side of the reaction. And so you subtract the lowest number. And so you have 32, you have 27. So we are going to subtract 27 OH minuses from both sides. And that leaves us with five OH minuses on the left. All right, and that's the only other thing that we have the same on both sides. So now we just bring it down. We have our eight ALs. We have our three NO3 minuses, we have our 18 H2Os, we have our five OH minuses, a lot of stuff on the left side. On the right side, we have eight ALOH sub four minuses, and we have three NH Threes. All right, so we should check our charge, see what we have for our charge on both sides. Zero for eight aluminums, minus three for the three NO3 minuses, zero for the 18 H2Os, minus five for the five OH minuses, so a total of minus eight. 
On the right side, we have 8 ALOH sub 4 minuses, so that's minus 8. We have 3 NH3s, that's 0. Again, when we add that, it's minus 8, so minus 8 is equal to minus 8. So there is your balanced oxidation reduction reaction. All right, your reactant from your oxidation half reaction, your aluminum, that is the reducing agent. The reactant of your reduction half reaction, your NO3 minus, that is your oxidizing agent. All right, and so that is everything that you need to do to balance that oxidation reduction reaction. All right, let's see. Uh, we'll do part D. C, we'll do D, so this is 40D. All right, D is MnO4 minus plus C2O4 minus 2 yields MnO2 and CO2. And this one is in base again. All right, so this one's basic, which means you're balancing your charge with OH minus. All right, so we get our oxidation numbers. MnOCO, Mn. O, C, O. All right, so oxygen is minus 2 unless it's peroxide. This is not peroxide, so oxygen is minus 2. There are four of them, so that's minus 8. The overall is minus 1, so you have to have a plus 7, minus 8 to give a minus 1. Oxygen is minus 2. There are four of them, minus 8. So you have to have a plus 6 with a minus 8 to give you a minus 2. All right, but we need a plus 6 total. We have two carbons giving us plus 6. So each one is a plus 3 oxidation. All right, oxygen is minus 2. That is minus 4. And then has to be plus 4 because that one is a neutral molecule, no charge. Oxygen minus 2, there's two of them, minus 4, the carbon has to be plus 4 because it is a neutral molecule. All right, so we see that our MN is going from 7 down to 4. So your MN is going from a plus 7 down to a plus 4. So we have to gain 3 electrons per MN. We see that our carbon is going from a plus 3 down up to a plus 4. So it is going, it is increasing oxidation, and so it has to lose one electron for each carbon. To go from a plus 3 to a plus 4. So those are the two half reactions. You've got your MnO4 minus going to MnO2. That is your reduction half reaction. You have your C2O4 minus 2 going to CO2. That is your oxidation half reaction. All right, so we have one Mn on the left, one Mn on the right. We had to gain three electrons per Mn. So we had to gain three electrons per Mn. Carbons, we have two carbons on the left. We need to have two carbons on the right. So we have to put in the coefficient of two. We are going to lose one electron per carbon but we have two carbons, so we are going to lose two electrons. That means two electrons are released, plus two electrons. All right, so now we have balanced our oxidation numbers. Now we have to balance our charge. MnO4 minus is minus one, three electrons. So on the left side, we have minus four. MnO2 is neutral, so we need to add four OH minuses 
in order to have negative 4 on both the left and the right side. The oxidation half reaction, we have minus 2, we have 0, we have minus 2. Minus 2 is equal to minus 2. We do not add any OH minuses. Now we have to balance our hydrogens and oxygens with water. All right, so we have uh, hydrogens, zero hydrogens on the left side. We have four OH minuses, four H's. In order to get four H's, we have to have two H, two O's. That is four hydrogens. All right, so now we uh, determine if we have enough Oxygen is on both sides. Two from our water. Four from MnO4. That's six. Two from MnO2. Four from four OH minuses. Six. We have a balanced reduction half reaction. We have zero hydrogens on both sides on the oxidation side. Oxidation half reaction. We have four O's. We have four O's. Everything is balanced for our oxidation half reaction. All right, so again, we have to add up our two half reactions. We have to have electrons gained, equal electrons lost. Right now it's three and two. So our least common multiple of three and two is six. And so we have to multiply the reduction half reaction through by two. And we have to multiply our oxidation half reaction through by three. All right, so in this case, the only thing that's going to cancel out is our six electrons gained and our six electrons lost. So we will have our, when we multiply through by two, we're going to have four H2Os. We're going to have two MnO4 minuses, our six electrons, the two MnO2s, and eight OH minuses as we multiply through by two. When you multiply through by three, we're going to have three C2O4 minus twos. We are going to have six CO2s. We're going to have six electrons. And that's why we did it, so that the electrons gained equal electrons lost. You subtract your six electrons. Electrons never show up in the overall reaction. All right, so we bring it down. We have our four H2Os. We have our two MnO4 minuses. We have our three C2O4 minus twos. We have our two MnO2s. We have our six CO2s. And we have our eight OH minuses. And so you should always check your charge at the end. All right, so you got four waters, that's zero. You got two MnO4 minuses, that's minus two. You got three C2O4 minus twos, that is minus six. You got two MnO2 neutrals, that's zero. Six CO2 neutrals, that's zero. And eight OH minuses, that is minus eight. So you see on the left and the right, you have a minus eight charge, and that is your balanced oxidation reduction reaction. All right, so your oxidizing agent, all right, so you, to get your oxidizing agent, it is the reaction, reactant of your reduction half reaction. So your MnO4 minus is your oxidizing agent, which means if you wanted to oxidize your C2O4 minus 2, you would add MnO4 minus, an oxidizing agent. Your C2O4 minus 2 is your reducing agent. And that is called that because if you wanted to reduce your MnO4 minus down to an MnO2, you would add C2O4 minus 2, a reducing agent. All right, we'll do a couple, let's see. All right, we'll do 1942 Part C. Uh, that one is CrOH4 minus. Plus OCl minus. Yields. CrO4 minus 2 plus 
Cl minus. All right, so we do our oxidation numbers. Cr, O, H, O, Cl, Cr, O, Cl. All right, so oxygen is minus two unless it is a peroxide. Uh, H is plus one unless it is a metal hydride. All right, and so your four minus twos and your four plus ones give an overall of minus four for those four OH minuses. So CR has to be plus three. Plus three minus four is an overall of minus one. Oxygen is minus two. This is minus two. In order for the overall to be minus one, you have to have a plus one CL. Minus two plus one is a minus one. Oxygen is minus two. You got four of them. Minus eight. CR has to be plus six. Plus six minus eight gives you the minus two. Plus six for your CR. A monatomic ion, the oxidation is the same as the charge. A minus one for your CL. All right, so we look at our chromium. CR is going from a plus three oxidation up to a plus six oxidation. Here is your oxidation, which is a loss of electrons. And to go from a three to a six, you had to lose three electrons for each CR. All right, your CL. Your Cl goes from a plus one to a minus one. It is reduced from a plus one down to a minus one, which means it had to gain two electrons for every Cl. So now we have our two half reactions. We have our CrOH sub four minus going to our CrO4 minus two. And we have our OCl minus going to Cl minus. All right, and so we have one Cr on the left, one Cr on the right, and we know that we had to lose three electrons per Cr. We had to lose three electrons, release three electrons, for each CR, there's one CR. For the CLs, we had to gain two electrons for each CL. There's one CL on this side, one on this side. So we had to gain two electrons for each CL, and there's one CL, so it is two electrons. All right, and when you look at 42C, it says, again, we are in base. So it will tell you acidic or basic. That means that we are using OH minus to balance our charge. Charge on the left here is minus one. On the right, you got minus two, you got minus three, you got a total of minus five. All right, so you got minus five on the right, minus one on the left, you're gonna need four OH minuses. So now you've got a minus five on the left and a minus five on the right. All right, with your, uh, oh, I didn't label them. So when you're going from a plus three to a plus six, this is your reduction half reaction, reduced from a plus three to a plus six. And when you are, that is an oxidation, reduced, no, re oxidation half reaction, of course, a plus three is increased, not reduced, to a plus six. And your CL is being reduced from a plus one down to a minus one. So that is your reduction half reaction. All right, so now we have our charge for our reduction half reaction, minus one, minus two, total minus three on this side, just a minus one. So we need to add two OH minuses to get our minus three equal to the minus three. So now that we have our charge balance, we now balance our hydrogens and oxygens. All right, so for our oxidation half reaction, you got four H's from four OH minuses, another four H's from the CrOH sub four. So we have eight hydrogens on the left, 
zero hydrogens on the right. That means we need four H2Os to give us eight hydrogens on both sides. Now we check our oxygens. We have four plus four. We have eight oxygens on the left. We have four plus four. We have eight oxygens on the right. So now we are balanced with hydrogens and oxygens. For the reduction half reaction, we have no hydrogens on the left. We have two on the right. So we have to add one H2O to get two hydrogens on the left and two hydrogens on the right. Check your oxygens. You got one from H2O, one from OCl minus. That's two oxygens. And you got two oxygens from your two OH minuses. All right, so now we're ready to add up our reactions. But again, before you can add up the reactions, you have to make sure that you have electrons gained equal to electrons lost. The least common multiple between a two and a three is six. So we have to multiply our oxidation half reaction through by two to lose six electrons. We have to multiply our reduction half reaction by three to gain six electrons. All right, so now we're gonna have eight OH minuses. We're gonna have two CrO4 minus twos. We're gonna have two CrO4 minus twos. We're going to have six electrons and we're going to have eight H2Os. Over here, we're going to have three waters. We're going to have three OCl minuses. We're going to have six electrons. We're going to have three Cl minuses and we're going to have six OH minuses when we multiply through by three, and we did that so that we could subtract six electrons lost with the six electrons gained. They must go to zero. You can only have OH on one side of the reaction. You have eight of them on the left, six on the right. You have to subtract the smaller number, which is six. So six goes to zero. Eight now goes to two OH minuses. You can only have water on one side of the reaction. On the oxidation, we have eight waters. On the reduction, we have three waters. So three is a lower number. Subtract the three on both sides, and now we have five H2Os. And now you bring it down. You've got your two OH minuses. You've got your two CrOH sub four minuses. You've got your three OCl minuses. You've got your two CrO4 minus twos. You've got your three Cl minuses. And you've got your five H2Os. All right, so you can only have OH on one side. You can only have H2O on one side. They could be on the same side, but they cannot be on both sides. All right, so you can have your OHs and your H2Os on one side, but you can't have an OH and an OH on the other side. You can only have OH on one side of the reaction. Check our charge, two OH minuses, minus two, two CrOH4 minuses, that's minus two, three OCl minuses, that's minus three. So we have minus seven on the left. On the right, we have two CrO4 minus twos, that's minus four. We have three Cl minuses, that's minus three. We have five waters, that is neutral. So you see that we have minus seven equals minus seven. That is our balanced half re uh, cell reaction, oxidation reduction reaction. All right, so our oxidation half reaction, the, the reactant of our oxidation half reaction, this is our reducing agent. The reactant of our reduction half reaction, this is our oxidizing agent. All right, and there is the balanced oxidation reduction. We're going to do one more. This one is in acid. This is 42D, 19... 
0.42 part D. And that is Br2 plus SO2 yields Br minus and SO4 minus 2. And this one is an acid, so it is acidic. That just means we're going to balance our charge with H+. Plus. All right, so we get our oxidation numbers. Br, S, O, Br, S, O. All right, bromine, Br2. That is uh, bromine in its natural state, element on the periodic table. That oxidation for all elements in their natural state, zero. Oxygen in compounds is minus two. We have two of them. That's minus four. So S has to be a plus four to give an overall neutral charge. The monatomic ion, the oxidation is the same as the charge. Minus one for Br minus. And for sulfate, your O is minus two. There are four of them. That is minus eight. You have to have a plus six and a minus eight to give a minus two plus six. So you see that your Br is being reduced from a zero to a negative one. You see that your sulfur is being increased or oxidized from a four to a six. All right, and so for a zero to be reduced to a negative one, we need to have a gain of one electron per Br. For our plus four to go to plus six, we have to lose two electrons per S. So now we're ready to break it into our two half reactions. So we have Br2 going to Br minus, all right? And so that is a zero reducing down to a negative one. This is our reduction half reaction. We have our SO2 going to our SO4 minus two. We have our plus four oxidizing to plus six. And so that is our oxidation half reaction. All right, and so again, we have to always balance our atom that's changing oxidation number. And so we have two BRs on the left. We have to put a two out in front to get two BRs on the right. We have to gain one electron per Br. We have two Br's. So we have to gain two electrons. We have to gain two electrons. We have one sulfur. We have one sulfur. Sulfurs are balanced. We have to lose two electrons per sulfur. We have one sulfur. So we have to lose two electrons. All right, so now we're going to balance our charge. All right, we have minus two on the left, minus two on the right. Our reduction half reaction is balanced. For our oxidation half reaction, we have zero on the left. We have a plus, no, we have a minus two and a minus two. We have a minus four on the right. So we're going to need four H pluses to give our minus four a plus four to get to be a zero charge on both the left and the right. Now we balance hydrogens and oxygens with water. First one is already balanced. There's no hydrogens or oxygens. Uh, here we just put in four H pluses, which means we need two H2Os to get four hydrogens on both sides. And when you add up your oxygens, we have four on the left and four on the right. And now when we add this up, it can't hardly get any easier than this because we already have two electrons gained and two electrons lost. We don't have to multiply by anything. It is already gained equals loss. So you just bring it down. You got your Br2 plus SO2 plus 2H2O goes to 2Br minus plus SO4 minus 2 plus 4 H plus. All right, and you have, you should always check your charge. You've got 0, 0, 0, 0 charge on the left. You've got 
on the right, you've got a minus 2, a minus 2, and a plus 4, which is also adding up to 0. All right, the reactant of your reduction half reaction is Br2. Br2 is your oxidizing agent. Your oxidation half reaction, the reactant is SO2. That is your reducing agent. So enough balancing oxidation reductions. Let's go to, uh, we're going to do 19.48 next. All right, we have a mercury battery used for hearing aids and electric watches. It delivers a constant voltage of 1.35 volts. For long periods. Here are the half reactions. You've got your HgO plus H2O plus two electrons yields Hg liquid plus two OH minus. All right, the other half reaction is zinc plus 2OH minus yields ZnOH sub 2 solid plus 2 electrons. All right, the question is, which half reaction occurs at the anode and which occurs at the cathode? And what is the overall cell reaction? All right, well, the overall cell reaction is simple. You simply add these up, but the electrons gained have to equal electrons lost. Well, we got lucky there. There's two electrons gained, two electrons lost. So you just bring down all your reactants and all your products. However, you note that we have OH minus on both sides, this side and this side. You subtract the lower number. The number is the same, two and two. They're gone. Subtract two OHs. So in the overall cell reaction, there are not any OH minus. All right, so you have your HGO solid plus H2O plus zinc solid yields HG liquid plus ZnOH sub 2. So that is your cell reaction. All right, and so we see that our zinc is going from an oxidation of zero to a zinc of an oxidation of plus two. So here is your oxidation half reaction. And your mercury is going from a plus two to a zero. That is your reduction half reaction. And remember the red cat, which means that reduction is at the cathode. So this reaction, the reduction half reaction, this is occurring at the cathode. The oxidation half reaction is occurring at the anode. And that's the question that they were asking. What happens at the cathode? Well, this reduction half reaction. What's happening at the anode? Well, this oxidation half reaction. What's the cell reaction? You've got to add up the two reactions. So that was 1948. <clears throat> we'll do 1952. 1952, voltaic cell, that means it's spontaneous. That means that delta G is negative and the E is positive. All right, so we have an iron rod. And we have an iron 3 with a concentration of 0 0.30 molar. We have a zinc rod. And we have a zinc sulfate, so that's a zinc plus 2 solution, uh, that is 0 0.20 molar. All right, so 
uh, it says the iron. So the voltaic cell has iron three for the cathode. So they're telling us that this is the cathode in the problem. And the zinc is at the anode. All right. And so the half cells are connected by a soft grid. Write the notation for this cell. All right. And so they're telling us if it's oxidation reduction, because all you got to do is remember the red cat. So they're telling us that this is going to be your reduction half reaction. And this is going to be your oxidation half reaction. And so you have to write them accordingly. And so you have your reduction, which means you're going to have your Fe plus 3 plus 3 electrons go to Fe. That is your reduction half reaction that is occurring at the cathode. And you have your oxidation half reaction where you have your zinc going to zinc plus 2 plus 2 electrons. That is your oxidation half reaction, and you know this because they told you that that is occurring at the anode. All right, and when we get the overall reaction, if we want the cell reaction, we have to add these two up. The half reactions have to be added up, but again, you only can add them up if your electrons gain equal electrons lost. Your least common multiple of three and two is six. So multiply this through by two, and you have gained six electrons. You multiply this through by three, and you have lost six electrons. And so your electrons are subtracted from both sides, and you have your two Fe plus threes, your three Zn's, yielding two Fe's and three Zn plus twos. Now they want the cell notation. So now that you have the uh, cell reaction, this is your cell reaction, you can now write the cell notation. So you start with the anode. Anode in your cell notation always first. The anode is your zinc solid phase change going to your zinc plus two where you have to have the concentration, and the concentration for your zinc was given as 0.2 molar. Then your salt bridge, then, so that is your anode always comes first, then your salt bridge, and then your cathode. All right, so then your cathode uh, is the red cat, the reduction, where your Fe plus three and they give the uh, concentration of that is 0.3 molar. Then a phase change goes to Fe solid. Anytime you're writing a notation, it has to start and end with a solid. If there are no solids in your half reactions, you will always use platinum. If they are giving you a concentration, it must be listed after your ion. Uh, if it is a gas and they give you a pressure, it is listed after the gas. All right, so that is your cell notation for 52, 54. Nineteen. Write the overall cell reaction for the following cell. Okay, so now they give us a cell notation. So it is a platinum, and you use platinum when you don't have a solid in your half reaction. All right, and then you have H2, which is a gas. H plus, again, a phase change, solid to gas, gas to aqueous. Uh, then that's it for our, remember, uh, anode always first. And then you have your salt bridge. And then you have your cathode. Okay, so the reduction is your BR2, that is a liquid, huh. that's an interesting one, I would, see, I would accept it either way, all right, and now they're saying that a BR minus aqueous 
uh, is not going to mix. Your aqueous is not going to mix with your liquid. All right. So if you put a comma there, I'm not going to count it wrong. Uh, but they have it as a slash and then a platinum. So neither half reaction has a metal in it. And so we write our cell notation. So we know that we are going to oxidize at the anode. So this is your oxidation. And it is your H2 being oxidized to two H plus and two electrons. The cathode is the reduction, so we know that we are going to reduce the Br2 uh, into 2 Br minus. And so when we add these up, the two electrons gained already canceled, the two electrons lost, our overall cell reaction is H2 plus Br2 goes to 2 H plus and 2 Br minus. That is your cell reaction. All right, so here is your uh, anode. That is your oxidation half reaction. That's the anode. You got your red cat. You have your reduction half reaction. That is at the cathode. Uh, if we are to draw a cell, Uh, sketch a cell notation of, if we do a zinc, zinc plus 2, Cr plus 3, Cr. So here's your anode and here's your cathode. When you're drawing a cell, if you're sketching a cell, you will have your two beakers. You will have your salt bridge. You will have your solid metal electrode. You will have another solid metal electrode. You will have your two solutions. You will have it connected by a voltmeter. All right, it's always anode on this side. It is always cathode on the other side. Always starts A, goes to C, alphabetical order. Anode first, cathode second. So anode, that means that you have zinc here. And this is zinc plus two. Cathode, that means this is Cr. And this is Cr plus three. Salt bridge, KCl. That's your salt bridge. All right, and what's happening is your CR plus three is turning into CR. So this is getting bigger because the CR plus three is going to make solid CR. And so to neutralize that, you have to add your K plus into this solution of your salt bridge. Your zinc plus two is being formed. This is going away, getting smaller, and you're getting a bunch of zinc plus two. And so your Cl minus of your salt bridge has to go in here. And your electrons always flow from anode to cathode. So make sure you can draw a sketch a cell, labeling all the movements of all the ions. All right, we will pick up there tomorrow. I'm going to post uh, some of the homework problems.